today's news will make your jaws drop. And the reason why is super simple. I'll take you over what accusations Lisa from Blackpink is currently facing and why YG needs to finally step up their game when it comes to this issue. I'll also be talking about the infamous China ban that continues and we'll shed some light on what tragic story Ailey recently shared. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into it. In the last news, I informed you that BTS would be attending the 76th United Nations Assembly. Not only did they deliver a speech, but they also performed permission to dance. Namjoon began the speech by saying, We are here today to share the stories of the future generation. The members proceeded to talk about the troubles the world had to face in the past two years. They also talked about things they went through and how it affected them as a group, but they didn't forget to mention others as well. The members talked about climate change and environmental issues in their speech, among other things. Taehyung said, I hope we don't consider the future as nothing but darkness. We have people who are concerned for the world and are searching for the answers. Later in the speech, Jean shared his thoughts on our generation. I think that instead of the lost generation, the welcome generation is a more appropriate name. Instead of being afraid of change, this generation says welcome as they walk forward into the future. BTS members have also revealed that all of them were vaccinated and the reaction of their fandom was that they started trending a hashtag on Twitter that said ARMY vaccinated too. Now moving on from BTS to JYP's girls, and yes, I mean ITZY, we've got something to share. It was revealed that the group will appear on The Kelly Clarkson Show next Monday, September 27th. The group will release their album Crazy in Love and the music video for the title song Loco on September 24th. So get ready, cause we're about to witness ITZY world domination. No, for real, I'm super excited for their comeback, so let's hope for the best. Chanyol from EXO has been trending on Twitter for the cutest reason ever. It was just because of his latest Instagram update. This EXO giant shared pictures of his tiny dog, and look, I know, I know, I keep talking about Chanyol the ferret lover, but can you blame me? Tell me that the pictures with his dogs don't match the same energy as his pictures from the ferret lover club. No, I am not letting this one slide by because it's way too good of a story to not mention it every time I get the chance. Sorry guys. Remember how we on this channel talked about the infamous Chinese band that was trying to eliminate all signs of effeminate men and they're basically banning everyone who's pretty? Well, well, the bands that are meant to reform the whole Chinese entertainment industry as we know it are still coming along and we've got a new one. China announced that the government would be banning artists from using lip syncing in their performances. They say lip syncing deceives people. And this will apply not only to singers, but also to actors. Honestly, it looks like China really wants to put a stop to the entertainment world that's been similar to K-pop up to now. What's your opinion on this though? Do you think that it's fair for the idols? Or do you believe that idols should not be allowed to lip sync? And now to the more serious stuff. I have to start this section of the video with a story that sounds more like a plot of a Hollywood movie rather than an accident that happened in real life. The South Korean rapper No L was arrested a few days ago because he was caught driving without a license. But hold on, it's not just that. Not only was he caught without his license, but he also attacked the police officer. When the police officer asked him to show his license and let him check his alcohol level, Noel refused to comply and struck the police officer on the head. What's more, the black box footage from the police car leaked and we've got it all to show you. This isn't the first time that Noel was caught having issues. He's the son of a politician, Jung Dae Won, and in June 2020, he was caught driving under the influence of alcohol. He got a two year probation back then and was told that he would go to prison for more than a year if he broke the probation. And well, looks like Noel will be serving some time. On his Instagram, he left a message in which he said, I have no words to say. I will unreservedly take all the punishment that I deserve. I will work harder to become a more mature member of society. Starting with my fans, I am sorry to the people who have been hurt because of me. I mean, what can I say? This is definitely a mess, but justice must be served at the right places, so I hope that he will be treated as any other person and that the court won't take into consideration that his father is a politician. Let's wait and see how the situation unfolds. And we've come to our girl Lisa from Blackpink. Don't get me wrong, we love Lisa on this channel and her music is lit, but these accusations keep coming up again and again, so we gotta talk about it. Cultural appropriation is a serious issue within the K-pop industry, and Lisa has been under fire several times because of her wearing hairstyles that have a historical background in the African American culture. What issue we're dealing with right now is Lisa's photo teaser for her next music video release of the song Money. The song itself is a straight up bop, and I think that the vast majority of us can agree on that. However, the teaser picture strike quite the controversy when the fans saw the hair she was wearing. Lisa has braids in the photo, and some fans say that it looks like box braids, while others say that it's just tie braids. Look, I am not the one to be speaking about this issue and giving my opinion on it. I just want to share with you guys what people are actually saying about it. Honestly, the internet has been flooded with tons of reactions to the picture because people have had enough of this in K-pop. Lisa has worn braids also in the music video for Kill This Love, and the concerns were raised back then too. Fans aren't sure if Lisa has any say in what hair she's wearing for the music videos and photo shoots, but I believe that she must be able to say at least something. Big idols like Blackpink usually can get at least a word or two in, 
line and rejects some of the outfits or hairstyles. Some people are trying to back Lisa up by saying that she's not the one who chose the braids and that it's YG's fault. Yes, it could be explained like that, but honestly, YG is a mess and we all know it, but we keep supporting their artists anyway, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. It's a bad situation to say the least, and it's sad that we almost never get any official statement from the agency or the idols themselves. But we've got to stay with Lisa for a little longer because her fans have been raising concerns about the lack of promotion she's got for her solo debut. Artists always perform with their songs several weeks in a row, and they get TV appearances, they do interviews, and they basically try to raise the awareness about their song as much as they can. What happened with Lisa, though, is low-key crazy. She's performed the song La Lisa only a few times, and then YG put a stop to it. When she was asked about the broadcasting activities, Lisa answered the question on her live stream with a visibly I'm over it kind of reaction. She said something along the way that the company is talking about the activities, but she doesn't know anything. If I were her, I'd also be over YG at this point. It's just weird how YG kept releasing 10 different teasers for her solo debut before it came out, but when it was actually out, they did barely anything. We could explain the lack of Lulisa promotions by saying that she'll promote her song Money, but who knows? It's a messed up thing anyway. Last but not least, I gotta share a few words with you about Ailey, who's just given a very honest and raw interview. She opened up about the consequences she had to face after drastically losing 10 kilograms in one month. Ailey made a guest appearance on a variety program, All Eun Young's Golden Counseling Center, just a few days ago. The host of the show was a doctor, and she opened up about the pressure she felt back in the days and how scared she was. Ailey said, There were so many things in which I didn't know what standard I had to meet, especially with things like my weight. When I gained weight because netizens had told me I was too skinny, they would then say that I gained weight. I maintained the same weight for around three to four years now, but if I look even a little puffy, they would say I gained weight. If my face looks a bit sharp, they would say I succeeded in losing weight. But then she continued on saying how this whole pressure from the public affected her mentally, and I can't even imagine what she felt back then. She shared, I became too concerned about things I usually didn't care about. I began to be concerned with many things and think, is this embarrassing? Is that something to be ashamed of? That's why I lost weight. In one month, I lost 10 to 11 kilograms. At that time, I ate 100 grams of protein, two cups of vegetables, and a single fruit piece for one meal. Like that, I ate two meals in one day. That added up to 500 calories per day. I had too little strength to sing. Because I was so weak, I developed vocal cord nodules. Even the doctor on the show said that the normal consumption of calories per day for women is 1,200, so Ailey was putting her health at stake. The doctor, Oh Eun Young, revealed that it takes that much to lie still, blink, breathe, and for your heart to stay beating. If you don't eat even that much, you are using up the existing energy of your body just to stay alive. Then, that becomes a health problem. I'm glad that Ailey is doing much better now, and more importantly, I applaud her for opening up. It must have taken a lot of courage to talk about her health and weight on TV, and we need more idols speaking about the pressure they're experiencing just to satisfy the public. Well, that's gonna be all from me today. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and let me know what you all think about the issues I've talked about. See you soon. Bye, guys.